I have published over 40 videos on YouTube. Almost all of them are tutorials about features in Blender 3D, the free open source program that basically lets you create your own presumably scaled down version of Avatar with all its special effects on your laptop for free. The tutorials have become very popular. Many viewers of my tutorials have asked me how I create them. That's why I decided to make this tutorial on how to make a tutorial. It's a lot easier than you think. It's also quite inexpensive. Chances are you have all the equipment you need. If not, you can buy a good microphone and earphones for under $100 at Best Buy, unless if you look around Craigslist or eBay. Everything else is free, available for download. I'm using Windows, which includes Windows Movie Maker, my video editor. It's sort of free. It's included in Windows. If you don't have Windows, or even if you do, you can use Virtual Dub, downloadable for free at virtualdub.org instead. Interestingly, you don't need any video equipment because all the video will be captured from your computer screen using the free Cam Studio screen capturing program. Of course, the steps here apply not only to Blender, but to any program that runs on your PC. So let's get started. Assuming you have a good microphone and earphones, the first step is to write down what you want to say. Forget about what the video will look like. Just create a script using your favorite word processor or Notepad or WordPad if you use Windows. I know many people jump directly into creating the video. Maybe YouTube makes it too easy. But you'll feel much more comfortable if you take the time to organize your thoughts so that the end product will look more professional. Okay, enough lecturing. Maybe you have a special talent for speaking off the cuff. If that's the case, forget about what I just said and just do it. Well, that's what got Tiger Woods and Nike in trouble. Enough said. Great. Now you have your script. The first step is to create the audio for it. I always create the audio first. The program I use is Audacity, a free open source program available at audacity.sourceforge.net slash download. Download the latest stable version for your operating system. Follow the simple setup steps. The purpose of this video isn't to show you how to use Audacity. It's actually pretty easy. Those little circular icons work just like your VCR. After you've recorded your audio, you should edit out the hiccups, background noise, and perhaps amplify the audio to give it a bass boost. Read the Audacity online help and practice. You'll be a pro in no time. Here are the Audacity settings I use. You set them in Edit, Preferences, Audio, I.O. Device, whatever audio devices generate audio input and output. Channels, 1, Mono. I experimented with stereo and found that it just produced an echo effect. Mono produces clear audio. Click the Quality tab. Change the following settings. Default sample rate, 44,100 Hz. And default sample format, 32-bit float. We want to create an MP3 file. Before we do that, there's another little free program we need to download, the Lame MP3 Encoder. Download and install it from uh, lame.sourceforge.net. This encodes our audio into MP3. Leave all the other settings to the default. Under Edit Preferences File Formats, enter the version of Lame that you installed with a bitrate of 128. Now record and clean up your audio. When it's ready, you should both save your Audacity project in an AUP file so you can re-edit the audio if need be, and then do File, Export as MP3. Specify a directory, accept the defaults, and let Audacity do its thing. The next step is to run Windows Movie Maker. I import the audio and drag it into the audio slash music area. I save the music, uh, Movie Maker project. As I'm creating the video part, I press the play button to hear the audio. Hearing the audio makes it easier for me to follow the script. The next step is to create the video part using Cam Studio. Download and install Cam Studio at camstudio.org. Again, read the help file if you want a detailed information. To record in HD, you need a resolution with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. I set my screen resolution at 1280 by 720. YouTube is starting to accept 1920 by 1080. You can try that if you have that kind of screen. For me, 1280 by 720 is just fine. I record the audio full screen. Region full screen. 
You also want to download the Cam Studio Lossless Codec version 1.4 so your video is compressed. Uncompressed video unnecessarily takes up a lot of disk space and takes longer to upload. There's a link to download and install it at campstudio.org on the same page as the download for Cam Studio. Here's what I use. Under options I check the do not record audio and enable auto pan. Video options. Cam Studio lossless codec version 1.4. Set keyframes every 20 frames. Capture frames every 100 milliseconds. Playback rate is 10 frames per second. Plenty fast for just about any tutorial. Cursor options. Check the highlight cursor. Use the big yellow circle. That makes the cursor follow your cursor around as you show things. Now hit the record button. When you're finished, hit the stop button. Cam Studio asks you to save the video file. Save it to the location of your project. Finally, import the video into Windows Movie Maker. Synchronize the audio and video. Add a title and whatever effects you want and save your project often. When you're ready to publish, publish to this computer. Choose a subdirectory and a title. You need to change one thing to make the audio HD for YouTube. Click the More Settings button. Select Windows Media HD 720p or 5.9 MPS. Don't worry about the huge file size. The resulting WMV file is compressed to a much smaller size. When Windows Movie Maker is finished, you have just one last step. Upload it to YouTube. That's it. That's what's worked for me. I hope it works well for you. Please leave comments on YouTube and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any more of my videos.